Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ron Jordan over at RJ Lang Sales coming at you with another FLIR tutorial video. Today we're going to be working with the E95. I'm going to run through some of the typical settings that I use uh, on a daily basis when I'm using the cameras. Let's jump into it. As you can see here, I'm in recording mode. So to switch from recording mode to single shot, I simply click the menu button and go into settings. And right here in the recording mode, I'll touch on that. And this is where we see single shot, video, time lapse, and also our screening mode. Typically what we're using is video or single shot. So right now I'm gonna switch back over to single shot and I can click back out of there. You can also navigate by using this back button to come back out of that menu set. Another feature that I use no, I don't change it on a consistent basis, but I use it on a consistent basis, is this programmable button. All you do is you hold it in, and once you hold it in, now you can see you have a, a number of options that you can use. Most of the time, what I'm using this for is between um, auto and manual temperature scale, and I also use it for the um, switch, thermal to digital, and then I'm, I'm searching here for the temperature range. Most of the time, the guys that I'm working with, they're using this camera for a mul multitude of applications, uh, so they want to be able to change the temperature range pretty quickly instead of going through the menu settings, going to camera temperature range, and then setting it here. Most of the time you're wearing gloves, uh, you, you may not be able to navigate through the touch screen, so simply pressing that P button, you'll see will change my temperature range. Another set of tools that I like to use is the, just like I was using um, between auto temp and manual temperature, right here is the manual temperature. And the reason why I like to use a manual temperature range is I can now set the, these parameters on my level and scale over here on the right hand side. And I've set the camera up so it's kind of like the old school version where I press the right on the toggle stick and then I can move that bottom end wherever I want it to to get rid of a lot of that background noise. And then I'll hit that button one more time to the right and now I can move the top end of that level and scale um, up and down. Then to get back out of that, let's say you get these numbers totally out of whack and you're like, oh God, what did I do? Just go back into the uh, temperature range here or the temperature menu, hit auto, and it'll go back to what, what we had before. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. Uh, again, if you're looking for any tutorials on specific applications, if you're looking for tutorials on different menu sets, let me know in the comments below or shoot me an email at rjordan at langsales.com. Also, the online store is open for business, so please give us a shout and give us a view on langsales.com. Uh, go to the buy now section and take a look at what we have available. Thanks guys, have a great day as always.